Hi there everybody, how's it going? I hope you're all doing very well. This is myself, Magic Tomato, and welcome to episode 4 of Transport Fever. Uh, we are looking to upgrade some trains in this episode, and we're going to do it pretty much from the start here. So, um, this train is going to pick up a pile of people and it's going to make no money. These poor people are going to be ditched on the side of the track here, because we're going to be selling this train. Um, we're going to reverse the train here, and we're going to sell it off uh, at the depot. So I'm wait till it gets a little bit further down here. I might just slow down time actually. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna sell this train off, and we're gonna put a bigger and faster train on. So I'll wait till it gets over here, and then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit reverse, and then sell at the depot. So we're also going to get the some money back for this. So we invested about three, four, five, six, seven, about eight million into this train. So we're going to get about half of that back here. And that will be more than enough to cover the cost of uh, putting in another train. Now, really oddly, we could in fact chuck a TGV on here. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm just going to chuck a TGV on this track. It's going to be fast. Yeah. I'm going to chuck on a TGV here, because I, th I think we're going to make enough money back here that we're going to be able to afford one. I think so. Let's double check. Yeah, I think we will. Okay, Transport Millionaire. Uh, yeah, okay, let's um, let's take the risk. We're, we're going to invest into a TGV, so we're just going to go with a short one. It doesn't need to be a big one, because I'm hoping that the uh, the speed is going to be enough here. So let's make it red. And let's let's put a TGV onto this uh, onto this line. And I'm hoping that that is going to turn a massive profit. I'm hoping so. It's going to take a while before it turns that massive profit, but so there are 46 people down there, and the 31 up there. Okay, so I'm hoping that that's going to work out really well because it's 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 only got 72 capacity, so it's not the capacity is very very small. But I'm hoping that what's going to happen is going to be so fast that people are going to pay the premium of um, of using it, and it's going to rocket between these uh, between these stations here, especially on this stretch where the speed limit's basically 300 uh, kilometers an hour. So which is about 156. So already it's reached the top speed of the previous train. And it's just going to constantly accelerate down here until it gets to this station. So it's going to be well over 100 mile an hour by the time it gets here. So yeah, it's it's absolutely flying down here. So there we go. Reaches top speed of 180 kilometers an hour. So we've got a got an achievement for doing that. Yeah, so it's well over 100 mile an hour by the time it gets in here. And then it slows down. And it's going to pick up 40... Yeah, so it's already going to pick up a whole lot of people. And I'm hoping that people are going to go, well, hey, that's a really fast train on this uh, on this line. Let's use it. And so it's just going to rocket between these uh, between these stations here. Excellent. Uh, electric train arrived. Lovely. Okay, so that is going to make a fair bit of money, I think, uh, along this route. So our other routes and other income is able to sustain the cost of it initially whilst we're sort of struggling down the lower reaches here but the hope is that yeah it's going to it's going to very quickly so up here for instance there's already a good number of people as well so we'll see do i want to put a tgv on the other line probably not but i certainly will probably want to increase the uh, the capacity of this train at some point at the moment it's doing just fine does not need any for oh that being said there's a lot of people here so maybe i do need to increase the capacity eventually but again i think i'll make it a uh, a slightly faster line and we'll probably go with that double decker that i mentioned that i was initially going to go with over here but i've now taken the risk of going with the tgv so we'll see um we'll have to yeah so 303k that's not a lot of money but most of the people that were down um down at bingham were not going to fairham they're they're going up here to chesham so hopefully they will pick up and there's already a lot of people here again so is it going to be fast enough to merit to is it going to run fast enough that it's not going to build up too heavily i don't know we may have to run two of them 
that is a possibility. So we may have to double up some of the track here. So you don't, we don't know. We may actually have to run two of them. But um, there's going to already be a good number of people who are going to get on here. So let's. I'm just going to look at the profits coming out here. We'll see how much money he actually makes when it pulls in. <clears throat> Yeah, 1.42 million just out of that little trip alone. So I am hoping that that is going to make a lot of money when it starts actually getting full. So yeah, it's currently operating at a loss, but no, it's not going to be for very long. Each trip it makes might make a million quid. Um, yeah, it's just about full as well there. So I'm hoping that it's going to move fast enough that it will stay full, but at the same time the stations won't get overloaded. So at the moment there's not that many people here at Farron, but that will change. In particular, I think we need to perhaps run a bus here now as well. There's, there's currently no bus service here in Farron, so I think by running a bus we might be able to justify uh, there might be more people starting to move around. So now is the time to run a bus. So, hmm, not quite sure how I want to run the bus at the moment, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, put in some bus stops. So we've got the train station here. So, if we offload here and onload there, that'll be okay. Um, so then we can run the stop all the way around to there. So I'm trying to encourage some development over that way as well. Uh, I'll put a stop there. Uh, where is the... Right, so most of the residential is out here, so I can't really afford to miss any of this out. So yeah, we'll run this around here, all the way over there. And then, um, actually, let's get a stop there and a stop there. So it's a little bit awkward, but that should be okay. Okay, I'll also build a road depot whilst I'm in the window. Uh, can I shove it in on the corner here without build, without destroying any houses? Not really, no. In which case, it's going to go over here then. Good, Okay. And then we need to create our line. So we're going to go blue because it's uh, a ferrum central. Uh, it's a internal line. So all the internal ones are all um, all the same colour basically. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, there's only seven stops. And North Road needs to be a unload only. Okay, jolly good. And then we will buy a larger capacity bus like that and we'll shove it onto that route. Ferrum Central. And hopefully that will maybe generate a bit more traffic, although there is already a lot of traffic here anyway. So yeah, there's a, there's a good number of people that want to get on here, so that's good. So it's going to dump off a, a number of people, and then all that lot are going to get on here. So there's already um, actually quite good usage there. So that train is now good. Yeah, okay, fantastic. And hopefully this bus will allow a few more people to get over here as well. So that will be of further use. And yeah, so it is now just starting to turn a profit. So eventually, uh, eventually, I think it's going to make a hell of a lot more money. Uh, the other good thing here is the Harpenden Cheshunt uh, train is also starting to make money as well. So that's also an added bonus. Uh, it's uh, yeah, no, that's excellent. Okay, three town south. Yeah, fabulous stuff. That's just picked up a whole lot of people there as well. Eighteen. That's good. Fantastic. Okay. We can't complain. Yeah, this TGV is running in here very, very frequently. So I think more people are going to be encouraged by that as well because it's like, well, you know, that's that's a, that's a train that's very frequent. It's very, you know, there's always space on it. So we're obviously going to go ahead and get on that train. So that is now full as well. And it did actually leave a fair number of people here. So, yeah, we might have to run another one. It may be the case that we might have to run another TGV, so we'll, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and invest into the upgrade of this second track here that uh, heads down to Bourne and subsequently Buxton. 
because uh, we're going to eventually upgrade the train that's on this track as well. We're going to uh, put in the double decker on this one. They were definitely going to put the double decker on this one. There's there's no doubt about that. There's no need for a TGV here. So this is this is more of a branch line than anything else. But yeah, there's absolutely no need for a TGV on this route. So we'll build a we'll build a double decker train for this one. Uh, we'll obviously have to sell off the existing train, and we also need a little bit more money in the kitty before we can do that, because um, the initial locomotive is 13 million, and then it's another couple of million for the uh, the, the extra coach. So, yeah, it's going to be about 15 to 16 million, and selling off the train is going to make another four. So, yeah, we still need a little bit more money before we can do that. So. There's 91 people waiting there for three towns west. Yeah, so we definitely need to increase the capacity. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, we need to um, we need to increase the capacity. And also the uh, the double decker locomotive is also marginally quicker as well. I think it's 88 miles an hour is the top speed as opposed to 75. Uh, no, not that one. Um, I think so. Anyway, um, let me let me double check this. So if we go down to this one, um, 81 actually. So it's actually not that much faster, really. But it's going to have a bigger capacity. So it's it will it will have a much bigger capacity over this one. So we could just fit this current train with uh, double decker cars. There'd be no harm in doing that. But at the same time, a slightly faster locomotive will help. So, also buying the locomotive, it already has a uh, built-in, right? It comes with a double, couple of double-decker cars already attached to it. So, you might might as well. So, so currently, this train has 84 capacity. Buying the locomotive uh, has a capacity of 99. So, just buying the locomotive automatically increases the uh, the capacity of the line. You know, this has got what four cars on the back of it. So yeah definitely it's uh, definitely um, definitely better so uh, yeah there's there's good number of people here in fact there's 30 people here and this train can only fit 42 so it may be the case that we might end up having to uh, possibly add another uh, add another car on the back of that thing which is you know something I never thought I'd have to do I thought that was always going to be two but Obviously not. No, there's a lot of people there. Um, that's good. That's exactly what I want to see, because that's a profitable train. So, good stuff. Right. Now, are there any other connections that we might want to invest in? Certainly I'd like to get over to Ipswich. That's a thing. Um, at the moment, this is very good, though. I'm, I'm very happy with the way this is panning out. We also want to go from Fairham across here to Halifax and subsequently down to Basingstoke. Uh, so we want to make that line as well. We'll probably make that, because uh, that's quite a long... Mm, how long? I don't know. That might potentially end up becoming a TGV at some point as well. But I think we'll start off with just a... We'll build high-speed tracks straight off the bat, and then we'll probably build double-decker. I don't know. I'm not sure how justifiable that would be to build it straight off the bat, because it will cost a lot of money to run initially. So... Right, so we have, yeah, there's a lot of people waiting here. So there's 37 people going to get on. Um, hmm. Interesting, yeah. So we might end up actually having... Um, yeah, no one got on and no one got off there. That's that's part of the issue because it means we've just left those 37 people behind. So, yeah, that's that's not ideal. So in that situation, that is frustrating because we've now got a massive backlog of people there, and yeah, it's no good. Yeah, so we need higher capacity on this uh, on this um, this route for sure. So uh, we also got the Arctic still moving around over here. There's still a lot of stuff over this way, so that's good. Okay, that's that's plodding along rather nicely. So I think they're up at level level one, oh, level one. Uh, or is it level two? I can't remember. I can't remember the, um, the level because you actually start at the industry level starts at zero. It's really odd. So I, I don't know. It might well be the case. Yeah. But I think once this train arrives, um, it's obviously going to pick up all those people. But uh, once this train arrives, I reckon we could sell it off. And um... yeah. 
Yeah. We could probably sell it. And I reckon we'd be in a position to uh, to be able to build a new train. We're running it a little bit close, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's send to the depot and sell. Cool. Okay. Right. So yeah, naturally. Mm, okay. Fourteen minute. Yeah. Okay. So we might be able to get another two here. I don't know how. Do we want two? 132, might be able to get 164, yeah, I think I'd rather get 164 on it if I can. Like the, the capacity for, yeah, the, the overall capacity, so. Okay, yeah, we've got 20 million then to play with, so that's that's not too bad, actually, we reap back most of that money. So, if we go with red, uh, let's put this one on here. So, we'll purchase that locomotive. And then we've got the double deckers. Oh no, it's only 1.74 million. I thought it was a little bit, uh, a little bit more expensive than that. So let's attach that to the back. How long is that train? 125 meters. Uh, did I make the? I made these into long platforms, didn't I? Did I make these long platforms? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, good. So we can fit 132 people on there currently. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Um, so do I want to add another one? I don't really know. Not actually all that expensive to run these coaches. So yeah, let's pop another one on the back there. So this is now 152 meters. This is quite a long train. But let's run it along uh, three towns west. And let's see how we get on with that. Okay, so it's naturally going to come down here to start with. So 28 people. I don't know how many of them are going to disappear now. Um, actually, we should just turn it around and go to uh, go to Bourne to start with, to be honest. Yeah, so now this is this is quite a long train now. You know, this is the longest train we've had so far. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to turn it around here. I'd rather pick up all those people going to Chesh Hunt. Right, there we go. Let's turn that around. Um, that's a beautiful little tool, that, by the way, just being able to just turn it around and say, hey, don't go that way, go this way. Yeah, I'd rather pick up 73 people than 30. So, that will that will be much better. Yeah, there's a lot of people here as well. So by the time it gets here, there's probably going to be well over 100 people here. So, yeah, I think building a big capacity train like that was probably worthwhile. It definitely fits the station. It should do. It's 240 meters. So, yeah, it's a big train. We could have probably put another one on the back there and it probably would have been fine. So but that's going to grab all of those passengers that were there. Uh, we have some new vehicles available. Excellent. Okay. The dual stock. Okay. Jolly good. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to end this episode right here then. So that's it for now. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been the Submit This Motto. Be sure to subscribe to follow the series. And join me next time for more Transport Fever, where next time we're probably going to look at maybe connecting up one or two more towns, and we might revisit some of our bus routes to see how they're doing. Cheers, guys.